So Evolution XOS is here. This one is version 10.5 with the new update. It's based on the latest QPR update, also having the latest security patch of April 2025. The new features, changes and things which are included in this one. We'll talk about all of those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. This one is version 10.5. The features and changes are just coming very soon. So make sure to watch this video till the end. By the way, first of all, take a look at the circle to search thing. It's working fine. And let me tell you one thing. This is not the default launch. I just installed a different setup to just clean the home screen to make it look like make it look better as compared to the default one. And in personal opinion, it looks good, I guess. The default launcher is the Nova launcher, but circle to search is working fine, which is one of the main highlights. Second one is the quick settings panel once again restored. If you have watched my previous video of Evolution XOS previous update, that was with the new quick settings panel which was introduced. But because of some issues or maybe some bugs or any maybe other reasons, but we do not have that quick settings panel anymore. Also take a look at the new QPR options or you can say QPR new option, new feature named as mods. This is a replacement of do not disturb or you can say advanced do not disturb mod you can say because do not disturb was there previously but now it's renamed to mods and it includes some more features as like similar to iOS which has a focus mode. You can try out a lot of things in this case you can try out some interesting things which are included in this one so make sure to check it out in case you want to. Everything else is just same as compared to the previous updates. But because this is a QPR update, new QPR update, so this was expected that some features might be missing, but it's not the case in this case. Maybe with the new update, because it's been some time that this official update, this one is version 10.5, which is having April security patch. So there are there is a lot of time. They they took a lot of time, and now the features, the things are back. Some features were missing from the previous update, but no worries, most of the features are back, so that is a good thing. As you can see, miscellaneous have the similar options available for you, hiding the screen capture status, application downgrade, ignore window secure flags, no storage restrict, and so on. Also include some spoofing things, for example, play integrity fix, which matters a lot, pixel props, spoofing the tensor features, almost everything which was also present previously, it's already there with this new update, so that is also really good. This is about the component spoofing or you can say spoofing options which are included with this new update. But it's just not like that only. We have some more things available in this case too. These are just spoofing options, but let me show you the play integrity fix if it is working fine or not. This is like developer options enabled in Google Play Store. Let me see. As you can see, play integrity, we have meets basic integrity, meets device integrity, so it's fixed. And if you're looking forward to strong integrity, you can pass that strong integrity in case you want to. There are some tweaks available, there are some things that you can do. I just missed that and I will not show you for now. We also have this bootloader spoofing status, but it's not passed. Bootloader is not locked showing, it is not spoofed. And if you want to spoof this too, you can. It's it's totally up to you. But in this case, bootloader is showing as unlocked. So bootloader spoofing is not the part of this one. Moving on to some of the customizations available in this one. For example, lock screen have all the same options are back because these were already there. But with the previous a minor update that was based on QPR was some changes there. But in this case, we have some options available. Quick settings has same kind of options available. A lot of things which were missing previously are now back. Some quick settings customizations, quick settings battery style, quick settings widgets are also back in this case. We have the option for columns and rows adjustment and many, many more things. So don't miss out at all. All the things are present in this case. We have quick settings customizations. We have status bar customizations. We have almost every customization which you were looking forward to. For example, some theming options which includes notification style, icon pack, signal icons and so on, all these options. And including this one, we also have the option for some boot animation styles and so on. So these were the things I just wanted to let you know. If you want to try it out on a device, you can. And yes, this is it. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. Hope you like this video. 
If you like this, make sure to drop a like. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel. I will see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe the channel because you need a lot of custom room videos regarding that and I will provide you for sure. Some new updates are also coming very soon. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.